Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield, and thank you so much for tuning into this program today. You can find many of my sermon videos on many out outlets on the internet. I just punch in Raymond Mayfield on many search engines. You can find me all over the internet. I want to talk to you about Exodus chapter 1 today. The name Exodus means departure. Simply a departure means that the Israelites are going to depart Egypt and start off to a land that was flowing with milk and honey and have their own place to live. Joseph had great influence upon the leadership of Egypt in Genesis, the latter part of Genesis, but it's been around two or three hundred years since Joseph's death, and the new Pharaoh didn't have any respect for the Israelites whatsoever. Great changes occurred, and the Israelites become difficult slaves under a new regime. Pharaoh was not comfortable with the Israelites because their population grew so rapidly. They had grown from a small group and maybe as many as two or three hundred million. A Pharaoh had begun a new building program, and the Israelites became slaves. They worked hard, and they worked long hours. But they continued to grow, and God continued to bless them in spite of all of the hard work that was put on them that pressed them beyond measure. In Exodus 1 and 7, but the descendants of Israel were fruitful, increased abundantly, and they multiplied and grew exceedingly, and the land was full of them, according to the Amplified Bible. So in verse number 11, so they said over the Israelites' taskmasters, to afflict and to oppress them with increased burdens. And the Israelites built Pitom and Ramones as store cities for Pharaoh, and the Israelites were reduced to slavery in the worst kind of way. They made their lives bitter with just hard service and mortar and brick and all kinds of work, and all of their service was harsh and severe. I have done some mortar and some brickwork, and I know it's hard work, even at best. And uh, this was hard work, but yet they worked them long hours and harsh labor, and they were really sorely afflicted. Then Pharaoh told all the midwives to kill the male children that were born, but the females were to be kept alive. But the midnight midwives loved the Lord, and they did not obey Pharaoh's instruction because they feared God. So in Exodus 1 and 20, so God dwelt well with the midwives, and they then the people multiplied and became very strong. The blessings of God has been up on the Israelites' people, and they, it will continue to be up on the Israelite people uh, as long as uh, they are on this earth until they graduate to a place called heaven. Uh, God's blessing us up on that land, Israel, uh, and even uh, all the Hitlers and everything else tried to wipe them off the face of the map, but it's never worked. God has always blessed them. Then Pharaoh took the punishment to a new level. The Israelites were then punished in such a way in Exodus 1 and 22. Then Pharaoh charged all of his people, saying, Every son born to the Hebrews you shall cast into the river. That was the Nile River. But every daughter you shall allow to live. What a terrible and a barbaric thing to do. Murdering small, innocent children is so cruel. And we're going to find out in the next chapter how all the male children were thrown into the river and what a massacre that was and what weeping that must have been and the harsh punishment and how the Israelites must have really wept over the terrible, tragic thing that uh, had occurred. In the next chapter, I will cover some of that. I appreciate so much you listen to my videos. I, I thank you so much, and may God richly bless you in this day today.